Hello everyone, welcome to my channel that talk about medical science. In this video, I will present to you all about the child presenting with diarrhea. When we talk about the diarrhea, in the diarrhea, there is excess loss of water, electrolyte, sodium, potassium, and bicarbonate, and sinks in liquid stool. Dehydration occur when these losses are not adequately replaced and there and there are deficits of water and electrolytes. The degree of dehydration is graded according to symptoms and signs that reflect the amount of bleed lost. Their hydration regimen is selected according to the degree of dehydration all children with diarrhea should receive same supplement. During diarrhea, decrease food intake and nutrient absorption and decrease nutrient requirement often combine to the cause weight loss and failures to grow. Malnutrition can make diarrhea more severe, more prolonged and more frequent than in well nourished children. The vicious cycle can be broken by giving uh, nutrient-rich food during and continuing after diarrhea episode when the child is well. When we talk about the antibiotics, should not be used to except for children with bleedy uh, diarrhea, pro uh, probably cause of zinc jealousies. Suspected cholera with deserved dehydration and another serious non-intestinal infection such as pneumonia, urinary tract infection, antiprotozole drugs are rarely indicated. Antidiarrheal drugs and antiemetics should not be given to the young children with acute or persistent diarrhea or dysentery. They are not prevent dehydration or uh, improve nutritional status and sometimes uh, some have dangerous, sometimes fatal side effect. Now we talk about the child presenting with diarrhea. We talk about the history of the child trend. A careful feeding history is essential in management of the child with diarrhea. Inquiry should also be made about the frequency of the stool, number of day and uh, of diarrhea, blood in stools, report of a cholera outbreak in the area, recent antibiotic or another drug treatment, attack of crying with pallor in an infant. The examination. We are looking for sign of dehydration or severe dehydration, restlessness or irritability, lethargy or reduced level of consciousness, sunken eyes, skin pink, return slowly or very slowly, uh, thirsty or drink uh, ugly or drinking poorly or not able to drink. Blood installed, sign of severe malnutrition, abdominal mass, and abdominal uh, dis distension. There is no need for routine stool microscopy or culture in children with non bleedy diarrhea. Now we are looking to the table that talk about the different diagnosis in the children presenting with diarrhea. Diagnosis about acute watery diarrhea has character more than three lost stools per day, no blood installed. Diagnosis of uh, cholera is um, profuse watery diarrhea with severe dehydration during cholera outbreak, positive stools culture for vibrio cholera, O1 or O139. Diagnosis of dysentery is blood mixed with the stool. And uh, the diagnosis of persistent diarrhea is diarrhea lasting uh, equals or more than 14 days. Diarrhea with severe malnutrition has character any diarrhea with sign of severe acute malnutrition. And the uh, diarrhea associated with recent antibiotic use, recent cause of 
a broad spectrum oral antibiotic and intussusception has character blood and mucus installed uh, abdominal mass attacks of crying with pallor in infants or young children thank you for watching please subscribe to my channel and like and share to your friend about this thank you